Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and today I want to do an introduction and uh, pretty much an exploration for you and myself. Just to, you know, uh, I've been using Vegas Pro for a while now. Great, great program. Uh, very, very, very powerful editor. Uh, I've been learning up on a lot of the users out there as well who make videos on how to do etc. etc. Uh, Montagical is one of the first guys I found. There's Dylan P23. They have amazing videos uh, on Vegas Pro, and I've just been, you know, uh, you know, messing around with it. I want to give a little introduction to new users and, you know, just to inform you and uh, pretty much explore for myself, you know. So, uh, you know, it's pretty much kind of like a live experience. Not live, actually, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so first up, fire your Vegas Pro and open it up. And it should look like this by default now. This is Pro. It maybe look different if you have, you know, uh, this studio version and, you know, the other ones. But anyway. Uh, what Pro introduced, it introduced a lot of stuff, including the Blu-ray, and you can export your seat, you know, you can put it in high definition, and, and uh, high definition professional editing, and I believe you can export it as a Blu-ray uh, disc, you're, uh, you know, make it into a DVD or whatever, Blu-ray, DVD. But anyway, so, files are basic n new, you know, like I said, this is a Pro editor, this isn't, you know, like your Windows Movie Maker, guys, this is very, very powerful editor and uh, made by Sony and there's multiple versions uh, this is the $500 Sony Vegas Pro versions you know uh, you can buy it you know whatever you want it's up to you I'm gonna leave that to however you want to get it. I'm not gonna you recommend anything or anything like that so first off you want to go to n if you want to start a new project just hit new or control N you can open a project save project save as project render as if you want to render as you know certain thing import uh, media AFA AAF broadcast wave or DVD cam Quarter disc. If you have a camcorder, that's the DVD disc. Hard drive recording unit. Hard disc. Sorry. Some uh, even some even some cameras even have the hard uh, stores into a hard drive. The photos, uh, videos nowadays. Capture video. If you want to capture it from a device like a camera that's hooked up by DV cable, you can get a photo. Uh, you can extract audio from CDs, which is a really cool feature. Publish it. Get media from the web, and you can look into the properties of your project right here. Properties include the template, how you're going to want it, if you want NT NTSC, DV, or if you want it, you know, widescreen, how you want it, to ex pretty much how the project's going to look. You can set the same with audio. I'm not going to get into everything in here, but how all the blurs, the ruler, the summary, the audio CD, all that stuff is set at the properties. Basic edit, you can change the view. The great thing about Vegas and other editors is the availability, how you can just move out to a window view. You can really just customize the editor the way you want it. If you have a external monitor, which is a really, really helpful if you have one, because you can preview your whole video that you're working on on a separate monitor while editing it in another one, and I'll be doing that soon with my monitor when I upgrade the graphics card to have an external one plugged in for the desktop. And it's really, really great feature with Vegas Pro. You can just move basically anything within this. You can even move this up, you know. It's just awesome, guys. Uh, very, very great tool and you can just insert toolbars and all that stuff. You have the insert, your tools, which you know, burn disk, print video to HD V tape, um, scripting, extensions, multi camera, which uh uh Vegas Pro introduced with the 8.0 and the I think it's the one uh the eight point build enabled camera multi camera editing, so if you have multiple cameras uh options, a whole bunch of, you know, metronome, uh playback and all this auto ripple, all this cool stuff. And then, you know, help of course for your serial number. You can buy Vegas Pro now, you know, all that stuff. If you wanna if you're using a trial you can just buy it right there. Sony on the web about Vegas Pro, all the cool stuff. So first off you can install multiple things with this. You can install media managers with it if you want. You don't I believe that's an option. First off, you have these tabs right here. Explore is where you get all your media from. This is where you're going to get your videos exported from. You're going to, you know, this is where you're going to find all your media. Trimmer. Trimmer is basically where you, you're going to, if you have a video, for example, let's say a drop. Uh, this video 7 was here. It was a project I was working on. That's the, if you guys heard of the lightsaber effect, I'm sure you have. Basically, you just take it into the trimmer here, and you can just drop it in. Drop your video in to drag it. Oh, whoa, it's not working. Why is that? Hang on. Oh, I think I know why. Let me just delete this track first. Delete track. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Why is it not dragging in? This should... Ah, oh, or say... You can right-click it here. You go. I'll just try open and trimmer. There you go. Basically, this is how you're going to cut it up and trim it down, your video clip, to what you want. So, basically, you're going to, you know, go through it. And the great thing is it gives you play by... Uh, frame playback, so... All that stuff right there. You see as I hold and go through it, 
it plays the frame. This is for the lightsaber effect that I'm working on. It's coming along great. So you can just snip the clip right here. You can zoom in time, zoom out of time. Very, very helpful uh, when, you know, shorting uh, clips. Project media is basically all the media that goes with the project. Uh, media bins, all that stuff. Media manager deals with all, just ma manages your media, to, you know, for organization, stuff like that. And you can add all this other stuff too. Transitions, of course, this has a bunch of transitions and it gives you a uh, preview with when you go over it with your cursor. So 3D shuffle, really cool ones, iris, flash, just really, really cool ones. And it has like soft flash, hard flash, and you can still edit it from there, which is really cool. Then you go into video effects, which is really, really cool. You can add noise, as, as they say, medium color. And like I said, you go over it and it shows you a preview. Border, pyramid, soft edge, all that stuff. And it even has... Uh, uh, cool thing has a chroma key here for blue screens, for green screens, for pure red screens, pure green screens, or pure blue screens. Uh, so that's really great. It comes with a chroma key, so you can key out stuff if you have a green screen, or a blue screen, or a red screen, or a purple screen. Uh, color balance, color correction, time codes, TV simulator is a really cool thing. Quick, r so huge, huge, huge amount of effects. I'm pretty sure you can probably get more offline. Media generators. This is basically for stuff like titles, text, text pad, test patterns, solid colors, and that TV effect right there. Checkerboards effects. All this is great stuff for uh, intros and stuff like that. Or uh, text is like I said, real cool right here. So yeah, that's th those are the main three, six. What is this? Uh, about how many are there? Three, six, seven, seven tabs. About maybe eight. Or anyways. Uh, the main tabs that we'll, you'll be using it with an editing. Uh, here you have, um, this is the pretty much, this uh, deals with, this will show you the uh, volume, the output meter of your, vo the audio that's coming out of your clip. You can lock it, uh, unlock the f uh, f fader channels, what they call. You can, you know, adjust it through there, but I'm just going to leave it how, mine how it was. Automation settings, all that stuff. This is dealing with the audio mainly and all the stuff that's coming out. And this, like I said, is your, uh, this is where your preview, pretty much your preview box or your window, uh, canvas, whatever you want to say, you know, uh, like I said, you can preview on an external monitor, full screen, split screen, overlay, copy the snap, copy a snapshot of the current frame onto the clipboard, onto the, I should say, track, and the great thing about Vegas, it lets you have a lot of tracks, the audio tracks, video tracks, a lot, gives you a lot of power with a lot of tracks, so, y you know, if you want, like, 70, 70 tracks, which you probably could go up to. You can. It has time right there. Look, you can scroll through your flip, uh, for, uh, <laughs> clips with that, or you can easily just hold this and go down at a faster rate or slower rate or medium rate. You can record stuff, uh, onto your clipboard, you know. I'm pretty sure you can do narration through just control R, logo, loop, playback, uh, play from start, play, pause, stop, you know, go back to start, go to the end. And here's your pretty much your uh, your whole track that you'll be dealing with. You can have multiple tracks, like I said. Just drag and drop, simple. Very, very great, great editor, guys. Sony Vegas Pro. So the first look at it, you have your opacity settings, and you can go into your video effects right here of masking and all this stuff. Really, really cool stuff. Keyframes, all that stuff. Um, and you can go into event, event effects, to add effects. It's up to you, uh, you know, however which way you want to do it. Anyways, guys, that's a first look at Sony Vegas Pro 8.0. Uh, I hope this introduced you to what you can do and where stuff is. If you're a new user, hope you enjoy it. I know I am. Uh, you'll be seeing more tutorials on Sony Vegas Pro. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope it helped you out. Comment, rate, and